Tracy Lewis from Stuff and Things. Today I am working on my mom's birthday card, which I think I mentioned a couple videos ago. This is what I have chosen. Actually, I had my husband pick, and this is what's going to be the focal. I have picked out a small happy birthday. It is going to look, I'm using my Misty, my bigger Misty today. So it's going to be centered and the sentiment is fairly small and it's going to be copper embossed powder, the same embossing powder that's on the flower. And that's my squeaky sized Misty which I still have not figured out a safe way to oil yet without risking having issues with the oil getting on my cards. in a little packet that I got called Copper Detail Copper. It's going to get a little noisy. I usually fold my paper to put it back in the jar, but that worked just fine. Put the lid on. It's going to get noisy. All right, and I plan on popping the focal image up with dimensionals. And I think that is gonna look beautiful. So I will get it popped up and I will come back and give you guys a final look at it. All right, and this is my mom's card. And on this inside, um, I actually already sent her a different card and I went to the post office and they said it was it wasn't too thick but it had some chunkiness to it so they thought it would stick in the machine and they made me pay extra for hand machine and it never got to her so she's been waiting for it and it's passed her birthday by I don't know five days so this is actually her backup card so I have a sentiment that I want to use that says 
it's past your birthday and she has animals and the pasture is p-a-s-t-u-r-e your birthday so i'm going to work on getting that done on the inside for her which i will um probably not use the embossing i'll probably just do it in black and then i also have a cute stamp that i'll add that says you can never have too much happy so i will put both of those on the inside and um, get it all ready to send out to her. Thanks for watching.